Five Ways to Study with a Matrix Chart. In our first video, we demonstrated how to create a matrix chart, which helps you summarize and integrate related information in one place. Now we're going to demonstrate five different ways you can use your matrix chart to study. Number one, summarize. When you summarize your notes in your chart, you're already reviewing your course material and making decisions about what is most important to remember. Number two, recall. Use your matrix chart to help you recall more detailed information from your notes or textbook. Number three, identify gaps. Empty boxes in your chart could mean that you have a gap in your knowledge of course material. Review your lecture notes, textbook, or other sources to complete your chart and enhance your understanding. Number four, compare and contrast. You can also use your matrix chart to compare and contrast relationships between concepts. Number five, test yourself. You can test your knowledge by reordering or regrouping the information on your chart. You can also make a blank chart and fill it in, or just cover up parts of your chart to see what you remember. In conclusion, matrix charts are a study tool to help you summarize, recall, identify gaps, compare and contrast concepts, and test yourself. Need help? You can email us at library at uoguelph.ca. Select the Chat With Us option located on the U of G's library's website or drop by in person.